Welcome. In today's video, I'll be unboxing and setting up one of the fastest shipping helium hotspots, the Panther X1. If you do find value from this video, please do show some love to the channel and I'll leave any relevant links in the description below. This unit approximately took 5 weeks to be delivered to me, which honestly is one of the fastest shipping hotspots I have ever received. Unwrapping the box, at a glance you are provided with one of the smallest and meanest looking helium hotspots, a user manual, a 3dbi antenna, a power adapter to fit the region of your hotspot, a warranty card and a Panther X business card. The unit is quite small in comparison to all the other hotspots I have unboxed. There are two side vents which provide ventilation to the electrical components inside. Taking a look at the back of the unit, there are two USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports which currently do not have much of a functionality. A LAN port if you require to connect the unit via Ethernet, a Bluetooth button which is pressed when syncing up the hotspot to your Helium application, a power port and a low rail port which the antenna is inserted into. My prime focus for this unit was to test out two antennas at the same time, but unfortunately the left low rail port has been sealed. Setting up the device is relatively easy. You will initially require to screw on the 3dbi antenna. If you require faster sync to the blockchain, it is recommended to use an ethernet cable. I will be syncing this hotspot via Wi-Fi. Next insert the power port, and the eyes of the Panther X will turn green. It is now ready to sync to the Helium Hotspot application. From the Google Apple Play Store, search and download the Helium Hotspot app. Once downloaded, select create an account and then generate my 12 words. Note down your 12 words in sequence, as if you are locked out of your account, there is no other way to claim your HNT, so remember to keep these safe. Select I have written these down, and then the app will prompt you to enter all 12 of your keywords. Once done, set a pin code which will be used to access your Helium app. The next step is to add the hotspot to the network. Select on hotspots and click on add. Scroll down and choose Panther X1. The app will provide you a range of placement tips. Do have a quick read through these to ensure you avoid providing a weak signal to the network. Then select I've read the guide. The diagnostics screen will pop up to state that Panther X only has access to the data on your hotspot. Then select I understand. Ensure your device is powered up by pressing and holding the Bluetooth button on the back of the device for 5 seconds. The eyes will then turn blue. Then select Unpowered Up. Within the app, scan for my hotspot and select the unit. If you are using Wi-Fi, select your network and enter the Wi-Fi password. You will now require to set the hotspot location. Allow the app to gain access to your location and move the white pin and overlay it on top of the blue pin. And then set location. In some cases, the pin might not overlay directly on top. However, this is nothing to worry about. If you are intending to use the 3dbi stock antenna, ensure the TXRX gain is 3.0 dbi, and depending where you place the device in meters, define how high it is off the ground. The location fee has been prepaid. If you do require to shift the location once it has been set up, there is a fee of approximately $10 in HNT. So take this into consideration. Select register hotspot, and then the loading screen will appear. There is no confirmation screen after this, so to check the hotspot has been set up correctly, you can go back into the app, and under the arrows tab you should see the hotspot name and a pending notification besides it. The device will now sync to the blockchain, and this can take up to 72 hours. For me it only took 24 hours, using a Wi-Fi network. Once synced, you are finally ready to earn some HNT. If you are looking to upgrade your hotspot, you can watch one of my upgrade videos which provides further info on connections and info on different location setups. Best of luck with your mining and if you found this video useful, please do like, subscribe and most importantly, keep those notification bells on. Thank you all for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.